So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. It's a cell phone. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. Oh, I love carrying stuff. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. <coughs> it's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. What was that? Violin music coming from the sewer? There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall.
is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Dell has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. It's a trail down to the railroad trestle. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and it was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. <laughs> but it really pays off in the end. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Beep. Was. Whack. Click, 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 click. Whack. Hmm. I need to stay focused and solve this murder Whack. so I can do what I need to do. Beep. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. You seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Beep. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Two 
Minds like yours should be able to figure it out. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Are you going to do this all night? Boop, no time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Nuts. I could really go for some salted nuts right about now. Boop. Heek. Beep. Beep. Whack. Boop. It's a plumbing van Beep. driven by Beep. big pigeons. Click, click, click. Boop. Squeak! Heek! From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can. It's an empty soda bottle.